Yo, 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 what up guys? What's good? What's good? Another video today all on the same day. I got about four to six videos coming to you guys all in one day. And this is another product review, folks, of a Centec, and I'm sure you guys seen these before, a product review of a Centec infrared thermometer, okay? Now, the usage or, you know, what I use this for is specifically for RC purposes, for RC, re for RC reasons, okay, specifically. And I basically use this to monitor my motor temps and my electronic speed controller temperatures because you, your, your, uh, your ESC, which is also short for electronic speed controller, and your brushless motor or your brushed motor, whatever you're running as far as a brushed or brushless system and a brushed or brushless ESC, it doesn't matter. You need to monitor your temps and your temps need to be within a certain limit. Otherwise, you're going to basically cook or fry or catch your ESC or your motor on fire, on smoke. Mainly your ESC, not really your motor, okay? Because your ESC pretty much controls the voltage that's being put through your RC car in order to put out the kind of speeds that it puts out. And the gearing, of course, matters too, but the gearing doesn't really have much. The gearing does have a lot to do with it, actually, and your battery. But like I said, your ESC is a big part of your RC hobby, okay? In regards to electric cars. Now this is a Centec infrared thermometer, it uses a nine volt battery that's made in China. This is gonna be a much shorter review than the last three. Uh, well, they weren't all reviews. One of them was the Traxxas Stampede Run, which is currently being uploaded, it's almost done. All right, so by the time this video is done, that video should be uploaded. And uh, it says avoid exposure to the laser light that is emitted from this aperture, all right? 09A. I don't know what the 09A stands for, but basically it's a, Cent a Centec infrared handheld thermometer. All right. Now these are mainly used for checking the temperature on a Thanksgiving turkey, on your barbecue baby back ribs, you know, on basically anything that you're cooking. Okay. That's what this device really is for. It's not really made to monitor the temperature of an RC car, but a lot of guys use them for RC cars because they're highly accurate for the most part. For the most part, they do work. Now, are there some cons with these? Absolutely, guys. Are there cons with these thermometers? Yes. Now, I've heard that there are thermometers, handheld thermometers like this for cooking that can be used for RC cars that have one laser and some that have two to three lasers for better accuracy, for a better temperature reading, okay? And these type of handheld devices can be read or it can be set up in either a Fahrenheit mode or in a Celsius mode, okay? So that's really cool. And then you got the on and off button, like I said, the F and C for Fahrenheit and uh, Celsius, okay? I normally go by Fahrenheit. I don't go by Celsius. I like to use Fahrenheit. You got the trigger right here to arm it, and I'll demo it for you to show you how accurate it is. It is pretty darn accurate. Now, this one's used, and this one's not mine. It's, it's also my father's. And I don't know how much he bought it for, but I just use it for my RC cars, okay? Since I lost, uh, well, actually, I didn't lose it. Since I let one of my good buddies borrow my dynamite temperature gauge or temperature thermometer checker, and he never returned it. So thank you, Yav. I appreciate it. <laughs> you can go ahead and keep it. I don't want it. I'll just get me another one or I'll get me one of these. But anyways, one of my buddies has it, and... This one is the one I've been using currently for the last year, you know, year and a half, all right? So it says negative 20 degrees Celsius to 520 degrees Celsius at the bottom. Very ergonomic grip. I love the way it grips in the hand. It's like a pistol, you know, it's like a gun. Very nice. And I did just get done eating some extra hot Cheetos and I'm talking about not just the regular hot ones. I'm talking about the, I'm talking about the, the extra hot, which is the black and orange bag. Okay, and I did see a gentleman by the name of uh, by the name of Slushy, you know, in all capitalized letters, who had his nose dripping just from eating those chips. And really, dude, my God, you are a sissy because you can't eat chips to save your life. Okay, you're eating half a bag of a, a smaller bag of the one I have. I have the big one dollar and fifty to two dollar bag, and I'm eating the whole thing. Excuse that, guys. Oh, those are my dogs. They're kissing each other. The, the son and the father. Theodore and boy. And my God, dude, you can't even eat half a bag of hot Cheetos without pouring from your nose 
without complaining that it's so damn hot when really it's nothing, dude. Get over yourself. Come on, dude. Really? Half a bag of chips you can't finish because you're a pansy. All right? Really? Slushy? All capitalized letters, people. You can check it out. His channel picture is of a slushy, of an actual slushy with eyes, and it's a blue slushy. And it's got a mouth, I believe, too. So it's like a slushy that became alive, all right? Come on, guy. Extra hot Cheetos, really? I did it. I'm actually going to buy another bag and show you that I'm, I'm more of a man than you, and I can perform that challenge with no hesitation. So slushy, I challenge you. I'm going to put you to shame with the Cheeto challenge, baby, all right? Come up with something hotter, please. You're a joke. Okay? You're a baby, dude. And basically, the laser shoots out through there, okay? Through the bottom hole. All right? So I believe that's the sensor right there. And this part right here, I believe it's the part that, that the laser shoots out from, okay? And then for a red laser. Now, it's a red laser. It's a red beam. And uh, basically, you just point it at whatever you're pointing it at. And you could ch check the temperature, basically. All right, guys? So I have it set up in... Uh, Fahrenheit or degrees. Max output, avoid direct eye exposure. Okay, so don't point this in anyone's eyes, guys. It's, it's serious business. <clears throat> Max output is saying less than five milliwatts. I believe that stands for milliwatts. Wavelength is 630 to 660 millimeters or uh, NM. NM, I don't know what NM stands for, guys. I thought I, I thought I said millimeter, I'm sorry, guys. And it has a warning to prevent serious injury. Do not use for medical purposes. Number two, wear ANSI approved safety goggles when replacing battery. Okay, uh, I don't, I've never worn safety goggles when I replaced the battery. And we did, in fact, replace the battery. So it's all good. I don't need to uh, wear goggles. This product complies with 21 SFR, 1040.10 and 1040.11, Centec. Okay, blah, 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 blah. It's basically telling you where it was invented and where it was made, when, uh, when it got manufactured. Manufacture date was October 16th of 2010. So this is basically eight and a half to nine years old. Okay, this is old. It's about eight years old. All right. Like it says, nine volt battery. I'm not going to take it apart because I actually had help putting the battery back in and then sliding this on and getting it to actually work because it wasn't working. This one's loose. It's actually got some uh, some problems on the internals. Okay, so I'm gonna have to buy one for myself. Get rid of the, get rid of this one, or just you know keep it from my keep it from my father because he uses it for different things for like his real cars and stuff like that for food. And uh, the battery is really low. We actually need to replace a nine volt battery in it, so I'm gonna need a new one or just replace the battery in this one. All right, guys. So I'm gonna do a little demo for you and show you how it functions. Like I said, very nice plastic. Right here, and then right here, it's got an ergonomic grip on the battery compartment door, which slides up and down, forward, backward, okay? This goes down, and then you snap it back into place by pushing it upwards. All right, now to arm it, you hit once. The screen's gonna, the LCD screen is gonna light up, okay? And then, right now, it says 32.0, but it's not 32.0 in here. I'm in the house, and I'm gonna point it at, say, for example, the table right here. Now, you guys are gonna see what's gonna happen. All right, you see the laser? Now there's some glare from the sun, but if you can tell right there, the laser's right there. All right, and it's reading 78.2 degrees, guys, okay? So 78.2, because I did turn on the AC in here. AC is also known as an air conditioner. For those of you that didn't know what AC meant, 78.8 was the total reading. And um, sometimes you have to hold it into place for a while, for about 10 to 15 seconds to get a true reading, guys but it is accurate for the most part. It is actually 76 to 78 degrees in here because I did turn on the AC earlier and I put it on 76 and then it went up back to about 80 degrees. So it is hot outside today. It's very sunny. It was a nice, beautiful day. During the time I was running the Traxxas Stampede, all right, and I was using this to check the temps and the temps were getting, getting up to 151 to 157 degrees on just a 2S Gen Zay Slipo battery, a 7.4 volt, which was ridiculous for that motor, but it is a hot day, so it doesn't make sense. All right, guys, now I'll check myself, or uh, not myself, I'll check my dog and see what the reading is on my dog. Hey, boy, come here. <laughs> okay, maybe not my dog, maybe my tablet, all right? All right, my tablet reads 81.5 degrees, 
So it's anywhere between 80 and 81. Okay. And then it makes that sound when you release. So Z, I'm going to, once again, see that? You hear it? I meant to say you see the, uh, the laser beam. Now when I release, it's going to go beep, beep, beep. There you go. All right, guys. So it's very easy to use. I really like it. And it does work good, okay? For the most part, it's accurate. The only con is, over time, this battery compartment can have issues opening and closing. And then on top of that, it doesn't really keep your battery, your 9-volt battery in place all the time when you drop it too many times. Because this has been dropped. This has been abused by my dad. I don't know how many times he's had it for a while. Like I said, eight years or less, like, you know, three to four years. But it's an eight-year-old device. And... It's been dropped, guys. It's been abused, and through that abuse, it's held up fairly well, and it still works. Would I recommend it? Yes, I would recommend it for people that don't want to buy a Garmin, specifically for RC purposes and hobby-grade RCs, that is, not the new brights. I'm talking about the kind of stuff that I own. If you want to check motor temperatures on brushless motors or on nitro and gas engines, you want to check you know, the temperature of the inside of your house or your food, but like I said, your electronic speed controller, I normally use stuff like this for RC cars. It works great. It's fantastic. There's no reason to spend your money on an expensive device, which is $55 to $150. You know, this will do the job for $50 to $60, bucks, brand new, maybe $70 bucks at most. And you can order these off of, off of Amazon because I've seen them on Amazon, okay? So just look it up. You'll see some that will be like this, except they'll have, they'll have a blue trigger, and this part will be blue and it'll probably be a little bit more advanced than this one. You know, it'll shoot out, you know, two to three laser beams at the same time other than just one. You know what I mean? So there are better ones, more improved versions of this. You just have to look for them. You can also pick them up from your local hardware stores like Home Depot, Lowe's. Definitely try them. They may not have them, but definitely try them. You can absolutely pick them up from your local hardware stores like that. Um... You could also try Fry's Electronics, you could try Target, you could try Walmart. I'm sure they will have them as well, okay? They have these pretty much anywhere except for, you know, grocery stores and certain places like maybe perhaps Target. Target probably won't carry this device, you know. But other than that, guys, you can find these pretty much anywhere. eBay, all right, try eBay. Try places like that, but very ergonomic Feel in the hand, very good grip. It comes with a string attack, uh, string attached, like a not a drawstring, but you know something you can wrap around your hand, slide over your hand, and onto your wrist, so you can hold it firmly into place, and it won't go anywhere. So in case it slips out of your grip, it won't completely fall on the ground and shatter into a million pieces. All right, guys. Once again, the Centec infrared thermometer, which powers off of a nine volt lipo ba uh, lipo battery. It powers off of a regular 9-volt battery, okay? And uh, please don't point this in the kid's eyes and your eyes and your dog's eyes and your cat's eyes and anyone's eyes for that matter, okay? Even if, it's, you're, even if you're doing it for fun, please don't do it, guys. Always be responsible with any device that you're handling, with anything that you're handling, with anything that you're doing in life, all right? Be careful, okay, guys? Because I don't want any of you getting hurt. And it wouldn't make me look good either, all right, guys? So Gorilla Bear Tech is signing out. For the meantime, until the next product unboxing and review video. All right, guys? Catch you in the next one. Peace, y'all. GBT is out. Peace. And Slushy, these are the hands of a man, okay? All capitalized letters, guys. Look for an individual by the channel named Slushy. S-L-U-S-H-I-E. He's a pansy, okay? What a pansy. I mean, really, dude, these are the hands of a man, all right? This is what a man's hands looks like. Okay, these are manly hands. These are manly fingers, dude. A man can eat a bag of hot Cheetos with no problem. And I actually got the bag. I'll take pictures of it and put it in my community post, guy. Okay? So you see I'm not BSing, all right? Now, the bag is almost finished, y'all. So I'm going to have to go buy another bag of extra hot Cheetos. But I'm going to do a challenge, and I challenge Slushy to another challenge if he's willing to do it. If not, I don't care. I'll do it just for fun. I'll prove to you guys and show you that I can eat a whole bag of extra hot Cheetos without a drink of water. As a matter of fact, I'll eat two to three bags and I'll sit through all of them, eat them all, and I won't even have a sip and I'll wait five minutes later and then I'll start drinking, okay? Slushy, you're a coward.
All right, y'all take care.